Okay, dealing with questions, let me answer that in a second. Improv. Improv is really important. Everyone on this planet should take improv. It's like, whose line is it anyway? And um, theater sports downtown in Seattle, and I'm sure in Tacoma there's some improv and improv games, maybe doing that in the class or with some friends. That is so important to be able to think on your feet, and if you do the game wrong, it doesn't matter. You're just thinking um, on the spot and doing board games and something like Taboo, like that game Taboo where you have to guess a word. Mm -hmm. Doing those sort of games will keep you kind of in the moment and get it going. Mm -hmm. I think that's really important. Mm -hmm. Dealing with Q&A, very important, and you can see it poorly done all the time. Mm -hmm. So at the end of this speech, uh, end of the speech, some will say, oh, so, so the speaker will say, well, now I'll take Q&A. First of all, you should get your applause first instead of fizzle it out Q&A, because you start doing Q&A and then people start trickling out, you didn't even get your applause. So with Q&A, um, there's a couple of ways you might want to do this. For some speakers, they can take questions along the way. Some people, that will distract them, so it depends. You can also um, do where after this section, after each, you, you would tell, you'd prepare your audience and set expectations. Mm -hmm. After I'm going to do three sections and after mm -hmm. the uh, after each section, there'll be a chance for you to ask questions mm -hmm. about what we just talked about. So you're giving them, hey, if you have questions, write them down, mm -hmm. or you can tweet them, or however your format is. Mm -hmm. um, oh, but not, okay, so there's that way, and then if you're doing questions at the end, I would get your applause, and then say, and I'd like to take your questions and answers now. Mm -hmm. um, when, peop when you say that, you needed to tell them ahead of the, at the very mm -hmm. top, when you start your speech, I'm going to take Q&A, so write your questions down. Mm -hmm. So then at the very end, they have a question. Mm -hmm. Because many times, you'll ask, so does anybody have any questions? The audience is like, oh, um, yes, I, I'm sure I do, but hold on. And there's that big 20 second, 30 second mm -hmm. pause where you're waiting. It's awkward for the speaker. It's mm -hmm. awkward for the audience. And oh, will someone break the ice? So I would say, have a pointed question. Today I talked about X, Y, and Z, and you could you could use this in your blah, blah, blah. What do you think, blah, blah, blah. So you have a very pointed question, so people can picture themselves in that scenario and then think, oh, I see. Why do you have a question about that? Mm -hmm. You can feed the audience, the person who hired you, or a friend in the audience. You can have them ask you a question because you need to break that ice and give that stall time for the other people to think, okay, um, while he's answering a question, there wasn't, there was a question, what was it, and to give them time, and they need to warm up. They were just listening this whole time. Now it's their turn. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah, they need to kind of warm up. 